Like Mosquito, this is a character I entirely blame Pixel Dan on why I like them, because don't get me wrong, I like the mini comics I have Ninja War, but that's literally all Ninja War's ever had. I don't think he showed up in anything aside from mini comics. So, good thing his figures always turn out pretty okay. Ninja War is interesting because they are a replacement character to a character who was already pretty firmly on the sidelines. When they got done making Jitsu, I guess, and Thank God they got done making Jitsu, because Jitsu might actually be the single most disrespectful representation of any culture ever put in action figure form for a popular toy line. Beside the point. Um, when they made Ninjor, at least Ninjor is a little bit more subtle in how intolerant it is as a figure, but also it's more interesting. It has better accessories, has a cooler look. I don't like the big gold hand. The big gold hand is kind of dumb, unless it has like infinity gems, I guess, but that's beside the point. Uh, and I also like the fact that Ninjor has monster feet, because then I can always say like, oh, well, Ninjor's not meant to be an actual human being. Ninjor's like a demon, like Skeletor, so he can dress however he wants, and I don't have to feel like Reagan-era policy is trying to turn kids into a bunch of racists. That's just me, though. From Masters of the Universe Origins, this is Ninjor. And interestingly enough, according to a mini-comic in which we found out that Skeletor and Keldor were one and the same, Ninjor, Scareglow, and Too Bad are explicitly stated to be uh, Skeletor's greatest henchmen. Um, I don't know if that's ever, ever, ever come into play ever again for anyone aside from Scareglow, maybe. Um, but it's kind of interesting to know that this person, who we never saw before, might have been this ultimate cool guy that just never showed up because he was doing awesome things off screen. Taking a closer look, and this is where I'm glad I changed to the white wall, but also realize I really need that second lamp as soon as I'm able to go out to the stores again. Uh, Ninjor has great detail, but of course he's mostly in a black costume. Great hits of red to break that up though. I do like the head sculpt because it's very simple but it is efficient in conveying the point of this character, I think. Um, and I also really like the chest logo. You know, it's basic, just a dragon wrapped around a katana, but in an 80s way, it's very cool. Unfortunately, I do have a QC issue with this guy, and it keeps happening with a lot of the newer Origins figures, and it's that his knees are horribly weak. Like... It's not going to be the point where they just go all the way down, but they can't keep him standing up straight, so he's going to lean back and he's going to fall just because he can't keep balance. So you have to lean him forward a bit. He came with three accessories, a katana, some nunchucks, and a bow that unfortunately I lost while I was moving. In all honesty, he's one of my favorite Origins figures.